bought a new Christmas tree the other day. And the cashier says, oh, you gonna put that up yourself? I said, that's disgusting. I'm gonna put it up in the living room. Good evening, YouTube. So, this evening, we have the septic trucks in the shop, both the uh, International and the old Mac. Um, yes, yesterday? Yesterday, the Mac here decided it wanted to shit its guts out. The bowl, uh, we're not sure if it was something that happened yesterday or if it's been slowly happening. But anyway, long story short, the pump, hydraulic pump on the PTO. So here we have the PTO drive that's on the bottom of the transmission. The pump here bolts on, there's four bolts. So that it slides into the PTO and bolts on. Anyway, long story short, it come loose and it wasn't it wiggled out and wasn't straight and it kind of cocked off to the side and it ground the threads up no more splines and it took the two of the splines out of the pto as well so old south sass farmer there went to regina today and he was nice enough to pick us up all the parts that we need so i'm just in the process of bringing them in and I'll show you what we all got there's actually parts for this truck and that truck this one needs some work the uh the diff locks won't engage that one over there we just gotta put the PTO back on it and put a mud flap on it and it can go back to work and then this one has a leaking airbag which is right there and then I haven't decided whether I want to tear the diffs apart and try and fix it myself or get somebody else that maybe has a clue of what they're doing. <sighs> but anyway, if this truck has to go in the shop to get the diffs fixed, that truck has to be running. Yeah. Anyway, I'll talk to you in a few. Okay, so step one here. I, uh brought the PTO over to the parts bath here, the pulp water sole bath, and uh, I'm gonna scrub all the mud crud off of it here, clean it up, dry it off, and then I'll bring you back over to the vise. Okay, so got the whole thing torn apart here and uh, already put the new shaft in. Um, got the bearings installed. I'm just now working on the end caps. So this one I've already got the new race installed and the new oil seal installed. Now I just have to get this old gasket off. So I stick a new gasket on and then I can go ahead and assemble that onto the PTO. I am just working on, this is the through cap. I'm working on the blind cap, the one that goes on this other side. Now this one is fairly easy because there's a hole in it. So I was able to put a chisel on the bearing race and tap, 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 tap keep tapping each side and uh, tapped it out. Now the other one's a blind cap. You can't tap through it because it's a bearing up against a blank plate. So I kind of tinkered with it and then I got thinking 
I'm either gonna I'm gonna try something that's either gonna work or I'm gonna be buying a new cap. Is what it is. So of course when we got the, the guy sent all the parts. That's one bearing. Okay, fine. The shaft and gear assembly rotates on two bearings. Shit, I need two bearings and I only have one bearing. <clears throat> so that's handy. And he also did not send any new shims, and these ones are quite chewed up, so I don't know whether... I don't know whether the... Yeah, I'm not going to reuse the old bearing. I'm going to... We're going to go through the city tomorrow and pick up another bearing, I guess. But I'll bring you over to my blind cap experiment and see if it worked. Well, it ain't pretty, but like I say, it's either going to work or it's not. So I took and welded all the way around that race, and now it's it's hot. So welding around that, the metal gets hot, and then uh, as it cools, it should shrink that metal just enough that I flip this cap upside down, go tap, that bearing race should fall right out. And then I can just toot, 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 tap the new one in, and we're good to go. Well, <laughs> guess what? I win again, just like always. <laughs> Heck yeah, nice. I win. Got it out and didn't even damage it. I'm going to take it over to the parts washer and wash the crud out of it. Slam the new race in and put it back together. <laughs> yeah, the parts showed up this morning. So I went ahead and put the uh, tapered bearings in on either side. And he sent me the shims I needed. So shim that up, put the shaft in with new O-rings on either side and thrust washer and cap here oh beautiful wonderful no uh he said set it up so that there's no play in the shaft and the bearings spin nice absolutely and you can see the you can see the the pto gear down in there so uh this this big gear meshes with the transmission and this spins all the time when your foot's not on the clutch and then when you hit the the air switch in the cab that gear slides over and meshes with this one to match up with it and spin yeah nice there all ready to go back on Got the suck truck back together and uh, it had to go back to work right away. So <laughs> didn't get to film putting it back together or the completed product, but everything shifted right, works, pumps like a hot dam. Everything's good. So it's back to work, sucking shit. Fun job that is. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't. And uh, go over to Prairie Sunset Ranch and give Aaron some likes and some comments and subscribe to him as well. Uh, he's doing a draw if we can hit 700 subscribers for uh, an electric fencer. And then, yeah, let's watch his videos, get him up to a thousand. We can do it. Till next time, you guys.